This episode is brought to you by the 25X Productivity System Live, our two-day workshop where you'll discover the 25 skills to master productivity so you'll have more time freedom, more energy for what matters in your life, and more focus and attention on what moves the needle. Learn more at theproductivityshow.com forward slash events. Welcome to The Productivity Show, a podcast where we believe you can get the important things done without sacrificing your health, family, and things that matter to you. My name is Brooks Duncan, the COO of Asian Efficiency, where we help people become more productive at work and in life. And today is another Wisdom Wednesday episode where you'll get actionable productivity advice in less than 10 minutes. Today's topic is all about the daily target. It's one of the skills we teach in our 25X Productivity System course. And I'm going to start with a question. Did you have a productive day today? Or if you're listening to this at the end of the day, did you have a productive day yesterday? Seems like a pretty simple question, and your first instinct is probably going to give kind of a vibes-based answer, right? Uh, Yeah, I was pretty productive. I crushed it. Or maybe, meh, it was okay. Or it could be something like, no, I just hardly got anything done. But the thing is, with productivity, vibes can be misleading. You can spend all day checking off tasks and feel really, really productive. It just feels great, right? You're just check, 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 check. It feels like you're getting stuff done, but then the question is, did you actually get anything done that moves the needle, helps you make progress towards your goals, or move you forward on those important projects that you have going on? Or it could be on the flip side. You might only get one or two things, quote unquote, done, but these one or two things can unlock a lot of progress. People in management or leadership roles can really, really struggle with this. It's hard when you don't feel like you're quote unquote doing things because a lot of what you need to do is more big picture or clearing roadblocks for other people. You can miss a lot of that satisfaction you get from just checking boxes all day long. So that loops us back to the question, how do you know if you've had a productive day? Well, if you've created a daily target for yourself, that question is actually really easy to answer. And that's what we're going to unpack throughout the rest of this episode. So what is a daily target? Well, it's pretty much what it sounds like. At the start of your day or maybe the night before, give yourself a target for the day. And it's something objective. Either you did it or you didn't. There isn't really gray area there. It's something you've either done or haven't done by the end of the day. If you did it, great. You had a productive day. If you didn't, that's not necessarily the end of the world. The idea isn't to beat yourself up or feel bad about yourself. However, it is a good opportunity to ask yourself why you didn't meet that target that you set for yourself. There could be a totally reasonable expectation. You know, it happens. None of us are going to hit 100% every single day. But if you find yourself missing those targets a lot, there's clearly something going on there that you want to look into. So let's talk about some of the types of daily targets. A daily target isn't necessarily a number, although those, of course, are the easiest to measure. There could be different types of targets you might have. It could be a critical number. So I completed X of something today. That's really easy. Could also be an accomplishment. I did something I wanted to do today. Could be a habit that you started or continued if you're trying to build some sort of habit. Or maybe an important decision has been made. Maybe something you've been putting off and you finally decided what you're going to do, which would then unlock progress later. Some examples of maybe some daily targets for inspiration, maybe read a book for 30 minutes or read 20 pages of a book or something like that. Could be do 10 push-ups or go for a 20 minute walk. Could be make five sales prospect calls. Could be decide what to do with some money you had coming in like a tax return or something. Could be outlining an article or maybe sending LinkedIn invites to everybody you met at an annual conference last week. Could be book travel for some trip you have coming up. Could be calling a client to see if they have any suggestions to make your product or service better. Or it could be write requirements for a new job posting that you know you need to just get out there so you can get some help. These are just some examples, but you can see that some do have critical numbers, but others are just an action you want to have taken. So the thing with the daily target is at the end of the day, you want to ask yourself if you met your daily target or not. But then the question is, how do you evaluate that and how do you track that? Well, it could be something really, really informal. Maybe at the start of the day, you just write your daily target on a post-it note or at the top of a notepad paper. And then at the end of the day, you just loop back and ask how you did. So that's a really quick and informal way to do it. This stuff does not have to take a lot of time. 
Some people do though find value in tracking their daily target. So maybe they write it down in a journal or bullet journal. Maybe they use a spreadsheet or a habit tracking app. This is optional, but a great benefit of doing it this way is over time you can start to see how you're doing with your daily target. If you hit your daily target every single day, that's great, but it may mean that you wanna stretch a little bit. Maybe you wanna have some more ambitious targets. If you notice a lot of misses though, maybe you need to look at your schedule, your environment, or use the T framework to see if the problem is your time, energy, or attention. There's clearly something going on there that you wanna look into. So that's the daily target. Depending on when you're listening to this, either choose a target for today, or if you're listening to this at the end of the day, choose a target for tomorrow. Don't get hung up on tracking for now. It's more important to just get started setting that target and evaluating it. You can look at tracking later. Just get that first target and go from there. Thank you so much for listening to The Productivity Show, and I'll see you next time.